Hi, it's Kathy here. I just wanted to record this quick video um, just because I've, I've been going through some uh, interesting shifts recently and I thought by sharing what I've been going through it might give you some clarity about um, maybe so, uh, give you a shift in perspective or help you understand maybe some of the things that have been happening especially if you're feeling a bit stuck or you're feeling like you're banging the head, your head against the the glass ceiling or and you're just not being able to move forward and you've got a lot of head stuff going on about uh why you can't do something or you know why why is it happening for everyone else and not for me this kind of thing because that's all of the stuff that i've been going through so um i've just had a text through from the dvla saying i've got a, a tax rebate on my from my car which is a uh, very exciting and thank you universe and this is like one of the it's one of the many things that has been happening since i've made a little bit of a breakthrough uh in the last few days there's that there's been an invitation to um join a couple of different uh abundance circles and i also manifested a holiday and you know things are coming out of the blue and this is all happening whilst I've been taking a step back from doing. So, you know, I've got these workshops that I have planned um, for April and I haven't been doing very much marketing to tell people about it. And um, I've been, you know, my head's going, oh, you should be doing more. You should be getting out there. You should be making much more effort. But my heart is saying, you need to just be, you need to connect with who you need to be in order to attract the abundance, the freedom, the spaciousness, the relaxation, whatever, the, these are other things I've been asking to experience is much, much more spaciousness and a sense of just being able to, to be, to explore so much more about consciousness and, and then to be able to share it without that pressure of, having to make money through my business and although you know to my head it sounds crazy my head wants to say you have to do this through your business and um you you do lots of marketing and writing and live streams and videos and you get the word out and then you respond to people and you do marketing campaigns all of all of this stuff my head loves to tell me and yet my heart is saying, no, there's another way. And I've been following my heart. And it's been scary as hell. <laughs> I won't lie. Because obviously, uh, a, a lot of what I've been doing means that money doesn't come in if I'm not actively promoting myself and my, and my services. So, but I have been experiencing more spaciousness. Um, I've been experiencing much more ease lots of abundance is flowing in uh, it doesn't it's not necessarily all flowing in as cash but it's flowing in and allowing me to experience the the total abundance of life love everywhere connection it's just being absolutely magical and so whilst that's coming on the head stuff is uh it, it, it has at the same time been bringing up a lot of fear, a lot of uh, anxiety, a lot of um, sense of you must be crazy, what are you doing? Telling myself, you know, I'm just being stupid. And I can recognize all of this kind of stuff from, you know, old family patterns and things, limiting beliefs and fears. And at this, so I've been feeling them. I've been going through it very consciously. And as it comes up, I've just been holding it and giving it space and connecting to my heart, connecting to source, connecting to the earth and connecting to that infinite version of me. When you connect to your heart and you connect, you, if you imagine that you have a light in your heart and you, once you're connected above and below, you do that sort of inner connection, connect to your heart, expand that light out through your your chest through your body out into your energy field and then you carry on expanding that light out into the universe you reach a place where you feel that oneness you feel that one connection to that field the whole field of consciousness there's no separation between you and that field 
and when you are in that place it's a place of like, the universe is made from unconditional love so there is no fear there's no lack there's no scarcity because there's nowhere that source is not there's nowhere that you are not so and there's no time construct so there's no uh, there's no need for not knowing being in doubt uh, not having clarity because you can access the future you can access the past you can access the wisdom of your future self or any other being or person because you have total connection to everything so knowing this is and uh, this is obviously this is what I do through my work through my client work uh, and it's it's healing when you can bring this uh, light and this awareness into any negative situation and if you, it's like you're bringing love into any feeling any negative feeling that you're feeling and if you kind of like surround yourself with this this loving energy and this uh, wisdom and you give it space to be it gradually dissolves any of that heaviness any darkness any sense of stuckness by just pouring that light of consciousness into it that's one way to clear things but another thing that's happened uh, that popped into my head last like in the last week or two there's been a mantra which is let me just remember it uh, oh can't believe it's popped out of my head now I was in such a flow it's about there you already have everything that you desire and this is about the field being every every possibility that you can ever imagine or that you can't even imagine yet already exists every version of you that uh, that has the desires that you want that you have already exists so for example if you wanted to call in like five thousand pounds in the next month there is a version of you who has that that it already exists it just is the truth it's on it's not in physical form yet but it exists as a possibility and if it exists as a possibility then there is a way to, for you to manifest that now in order to manifest that you have to get into alignment with that version of you and when you step into that and you you step into it with a knowingness that i have this it's already done with absolute certainty it creates such a strong field around that sense of being that you are and what it does then is it brings up anything that's out of alignment within you out of alignment with with that version of you and so this is why a lot of the crap's been coming up for me because it's all stuff about limiting beliefs about who we are whereas what i'm focusing on is who i am when i have this extra money in or this extra um like a holiday or you know the, all kinds of things that i've been asking for so that mantra i already have everything that i desire if you can practice saying that to yourself and more than saying it actually feeling it and being it i already have everything i desire because i already am everything that i desire because there's nothing separating you from anything you you and the vibration and energy of this one field of consciousness is who you are so you are not separate from it you already have it and if you can kind of connect into that and then connect into like the the field of what it is that you want what what it will feel like when you have what you want so that maybe it's for me recently it's been that feeling of spaciousness and freedom this is what I'm, this is what I'm most craving, that sense of, oh, it feels just so expansive to have space and time to be and to explore and to have fun. And so I don't know if you can tell, but like as I tune into that, I can feel my energy is, is really starting, is getting wider and lighter and I feel much happier. And there's a vortex around, around this. And that is what's really powerful that influences the field. So then the universe goes to work in a much more powerful way, being attracted to this vibration. So this is what I've been doing over the last few weeks. And it's, it's making phenomenal shifts and changes and bringing all kinds of magic into my life. So I just wanted to share this process with you. 
maybe what you're wanting to call in is a sense of abundance, a sense of plenty, a sense of receiving, a sense of joyful connection, a sense of ease, a sense of uh, loving intimacy, clear, open communication, clarity of, of purpose, whatever it is, if you tune into that, that as a field and imagine that there is a, a grid of this, that everyone who, is, who exists or who has ever existed or whoever will exist, who is already operating on 100% fully from that, that field. If there is, for example, if, if you were wanting to call in abundance, there are so many people who, who abundance is their natural gift and they live and be and express abundance. And you can just connect into that field around the planet, including the planet, the planet, because our beautiful mother earth is the total expression of abundance. So if you can tune into this field and know that you are not separate from it and align with it, again, this adds to the vibration that you're being and it raises your energy and puts you much more into alignment. So I hope those tips there are a little bit, uh, might help you sort of um, see why some of the blocks have been coming up because it's just part of you, part of the things that need to be cleared and um, where you need to focus in order to keep moving forward. So whilst all of the crap's coming up, just stay focused on what you want. Don't focus on the scarcity and lack you need to focus through it on what you want and the, the blocks will be dissolved eventually so if you want to find out more about this or you'd like to experience more about this or you you want to work more on this for for yourself get in touch with me let's have a possibility call and let's see what's what i can do to help you how you can move ahead and step into the life that you really want to experience and also, I've got my uh, Activate Abundance workshop coming up on the 21st of April in Gerald's Cross, which is about uh, 20 minutes odd from out from uh, Marleybone in London on the train and then about a mile from the train station. So it's, it's quite accessible from London. And I've got another one coming up on the 28th of April in Worthing. So if you want to find out more about those where you can explore lots more of these kind of energy tools about getting into alignment, opening up to receive more, clearing any of those abundance blocks that come up, then this is what we're going to be doing. And we'll be, it'll be really playful and it's, it'll be a really high vibe day. So do get in touch with me. You can contact me at kathy at kathyballard.com. I'll put the uh, email address and description in the uh, email address and how to find me in the description box. So that's it from me for now and I'll see you next time. Bye.